Welcome back, my sweet, sweet dumplings. Quake Pro League action. I am 40 Lines, joined by ZSX. Just wrapped up the fourth series for the day. If you've missed any of the action, go back, check out the VODs, but also quake.pglesports.com for all of your Quake Pro League needs. Also, Challengers is going to be on there starting next week. ZSX, we got a big one coming up. Dramas, Rafa, how do you feel? i would ask you how you feel since you're Mr. N.A. himself. It's true. I do love my boys. Uh, I feel like this one's going to be brutal for Dramas. I mean, anybody that faces Rafa has an uphill battle, right? These undisputed goat of Quake, I think, especially after the uh, recent Quake World Championships, he's proven that. And uh, I think Dramas has the ability. It's just a matter of can he do everything right? Because Rafa's the kind of player that minimizes his mistakes and he makes you play 110% of your game to take a victory from him. So we'll, we'll see. It's a tough road for Dramas, but I, I think he has the tools. It's just going to be very, very difficult. Yeah, I think it's um, one of those games where it's difficult to bet against Rafa or in any way, even a single solitary map. So I oh, it's going to be a 3-0, I would say. Fairly comfortable. I would like to see Dramas put up a fight. Um, and I imagine he will, but I don't see anything happening except a 3-0. We'll see. I think probably some people in the chat or maybe work Photoshop of little, you know that little Wayne gif where he's just making it rain. Maybe maybe Photoshop Rafa on there. I don't know. We'll see because every map is money, but it really depends on any given Sunday, right? But more often than not, Rafa shows up without issue. But there's always a chance. I think it really depends on the pick bands as well. I'm looking forward to seeing those and seeing kind of what champions we have, what maps we have. Maybe we have another new map. Who knows? Who knows? And there it is right there. Blood Covenant, Bruins, and Awoken. We got Anarchy and Athena. Actually, Dramas is on the Athena, which you usually see uh, Rafa on there. Sorlag versus Strog on Ruins, and then Aizen versus Ranger on Awoken. Interesting. I really like the Sorlag pick on Ruins. I think Rafa plays that so well. And when he gets ahead of steam on that particular champion, it's just almost impossible to knock him off that stride. Athena versus Anarchy is going to be a fun encounter on Blood Covenant. As you say, often, often Rafa picks up the Athena, but Dramas is a big favorite of that champion as well and plays it very, very well. I really I like the respect from Rafa to ban Slash because Dramas yeah. does have a really good Slash. And Rafa, you know, again, minimizing any potential for mistakes, he's like, I'm getting that out of there immediately. No, 100%. Um, I think, obviously, the, I did Rail is going to be key for me, for Dramas to unlock and pick apart Rafa if he if he can get the rail game going and then keep the pressure on using those grapple hooks or, or whatever map we're on I think because the rails obviously in all the maps then then he's in with a chance um, looking at the picks and bands I, I definitely favor Rafa ever so slightly on maps one and two and maybe potentially the ranger on a work and all that quite even yeah, it'll be interesting, but again, uh, just the players aside, it's kind of about even, but then you add in, okay, it's Rafa, maybe leading towards him, like you said, maybe a 3-0, maybe even a blowout, we'll see. I'm sure Dramas takes that as disrespect, and he's going to have something to say about that, but I'm interested to see how Rafa handles the Sorbet on Ruins. As you said, he's pretty good. Sorbet, in and of itself, just a fantastic champion. The stack off the spawn is huge. Get a shotgun up close with the acid spit. It's kind of not unbeatable, but it's definitely tough to deal with. But again, Dramas has to go through the goat of Quake. The greatest of all time, ZSX. Will you admit that as an EU fan? Pretty sure I've said it a couple of times myself. I'm just so. saying, I'm just saying. There's a lot of people out there that still are in denial. That's all no, I'm saying. No, uh, he, he is. Um, he definitely is. So he, he deserves it. He does. He does. He puts in the work. He's He's got the championships behind it. And every Sunday is Championship Sunday to him, and that's what makes him so great, is he doesn't want to drop a map. And I think last season, uh, last stage rather, he only dropped one map for Quake World Championships, and I believe that was to Saigit. So that's insane. I'm sure he's going to want to repeat that, because again, all the maps are money. But Dramas, he's got the tools. Can he do it? It would be a huge upset, I think. If he takes the series, if he takes a map, I feel like it would be pretty big. But a huge uphill battle for the boy. But he could do it. He could do it. We'll see. He's one of these players that I think remember casting him versus Rafa last stage where he can bring it very, very close. And we've been raving about him having the potential to take that step up. It just hasn't been able to 
all things considered, he's gone slightly backwards relative to the rest of the field over the last stage. But everyone's performances have gone up and his hasn't accelerated as quickly as they did in the start. So this is a stage and it, when you're going up against someone like Rafa, you have nothing to lose. So there is actually no pressure on you. You know what Rafa brings to the table. You know you're an underdog and you know you're probably going to lose. So just throw everything at him and see what sticks. Yeah, it's kind of a bit of freedom, actually, now that you put it that way, where it's like, I can do anything that I want because nothing is really expected of me, I guess. Exactly, yeah. So it's all just up. It's all gravy from there. So we'll see. Maybe he'll uh, take some confidence out of that. And uh, maybe we'll see some upsets. I'm sure 99% of chat is going to say this one's already in the bag for Rafa, but you never know. I, I hate to repeat it, but any given Sunday, uh, it's it's real. Okay, We've seen upsets before. No, uh, not, not with this one. <laughs> You're like, no, absolutely not. There's not any time left. It's over. This one's already done. This well, one, it this starts one's done before it started. It, yeah, it starts one map at a time. Good sir, how dare you, my sweet. The thing son is, like, the thing is, like that sounds bad, right? But I would say that against virtually anyone in the world coming against Rafa, I would say it's going to be a done deal three series. There's very, very few players, maybe two or three, I would say, they've got a chance of beating him. That's just the level he plays at. And, and that's completely fair. Again, the GOAT himself. But, again, starts with map number one, and we're going to start off on Blood Covenant as we load into that. Let's see what Dramas has up his sleeve, or if the GOAT is going to GOAT. GOAT's going to GOAT. Dramas will put on a show for sure. Enjoy watching him. I really do. We're starting off on Dramas on the Athena right meow here as he makes his way over onto the Mega. And just a little bit of those time shards. It's uh, always good to keep those, especially uh, with Athena. You can grapple everywhere and just deny all the time shards. Try and keep the inject down for Rafa as he gets a good rail on the cross for Dramas. Needs to be careful. Misses with a rail of his own. That's unfortunate. Now the slowdown here is Rafa trying to lay the trap near rockets. Dodging that rocket. A little bit of LG. And now he has to get out of dodge. Goes through the telly. A little bit of misdirection. Oh, 30 HP. That had to be a flick at a wrist right there, and Rafa with the shoddy Pippin up close and personal gets that first frag early. That dodge was insane. Dramas did literally no damage. Oh my gosh, that's it's not a good start for Dramas. Needs to settle down a little bit. And one of the things I love watching about Rafa is just how fast he plays the map when he's in control. His decision making is second to none. This isn't a great execution though, but they do trade. That's the best Rafa could have hoped for having missed the opening rocket. And Dramas gets the slightly better spawn over by the heavy as well. However, uh, Rafa is going to set up over on the bridge. Inject is back up, but he's going to keep that in his pocket as he's going to claim this mega unscathed. Drops down, smells blood, sees it, doesn't really have anything to fight with, no rail in his possession. And quite yet, the jump pad. Now he has to be careful trying to play the denial on this rocket here. There's the hook. As Dramas actually very creative with that, but he's not hitting these rails. That's huge. Yeah. That is unfortunate for Dramas right there. That could have been big damage. Nice, though. That's really good as he jumps up, hits the direct rocket. Good follow up in the inject. One Somehow HP. Rafa survives one HP after an amazing engagement from Dramas. He just hit in a single rail earlier. That would have been a definite kill. So aggressive, so in your face. And sometimes things like that are what you need to beat Rafa because Rafa is such a clinical player that he'll he'll be like, why would anyone ever do that? And that's exactly why you would do that is because he wouldn't expect that play of all plays. Exactly. And, that, and as we said at the start, that might not be a play you do against someone else, but against Rafa, you, you need to take risks. Again, missing with that rail just barely. That's so unfortunate. This drama is missing big damage here. Rafa has the high ground. And if Dramas can just dial in these rails, this would be a completely different game. But unfortunately, he's just whiffing. 100%. The rail, as we said, is, is going to be key. And if he's not heading them, it means he can't make these maneuvers. He can't posture on these major items. And he now gives up map control just because of a string of missed rails. Rafa on target with his rail. There's one from Dramas on the way out. That guy's going to be spawning shortly. Rafa smells blood. He doesn't even want it yet. He wants this frag. There's the tickle. Dramas barely alive. Sub 25 HP down by that lower 
50 shard here as he doubles back and barely gets out of range. Jeez. Almost gave Rafa a rail opportunity there. Rafa has the speed of Anarchy, goes in, hits another rail. He knows how weak his opponent is. It's just a matter of time till he closes the gap. Pushing in hard here, and here comes the frag from Rafa, unless the rockets are perfect, which they are so far. And the oh. rail! Wow. Wow. And that's rare that you see Rafa kind of gamble it all on a rail, but wow, the refrag so quick. Usually you see Rafa, of all people, switching to machine gun or shotgun or something, but he gambles it all on a rail. Dramas takes advantage, but just like that, Rafa makes up for it, knows he did a tremendous amount of damage and gets that refrag off the spawn. And that's the situational awareness, as you say. Drama is forced to take risks, but it's very early for this Mega, so Rafa backing off, realizing that nice rail coming out. They do exchange, but the object is there to give him the extra stack he needs, and unfortunately, Dramas just isn't hitting his rails. Yeah, the, the overall game suffering for Dramas here is he's only hitting 35, 6 for 17, but the Rockets, no problem there. Good damage from Rafa again, opening up the a chance for a refrag here, but as time ticks, Dramas is going to look healthier and healthier. And there's the drop down. Rafa needs to be careful, and he knows that he missed his opportunity. So Dramas does well to restack and claim this mega, and he's only down by one with plenty of time left. So as long as he can keep kind of scrapping his way into these these fights and engagements, I think Dramas is going to be okay. This is a lot closer than some of us may have thought. It is indeed, and there are some higher risk plays coming out from Dramas, but they're all working as his close combat has been on point, if not his range game. And to your point, if he can clean up his range game, he's in a really strong position. He's playing this Athena remarkably. I like that hook for the misdirection, the rail on the way out. Is he going to hit another one? Rafa misses with one of his own. There's the rocket, but the splash won't land. And oh, misses with the rail, oh, and again, no! another opportunity! Pushes in, there's the 50 shard in the what? energy switch. I, I don't know if he ran out of ammo or not, but that was a suspect weapon switch from Rafa. I'm sure it had to be deliberate, but it goes Dramas' way. He ties it at four. The rails from no Rafa, way. though, immediately jumping on his prey, not giving him any life. There's the shotgun in the hook. Can he hit another one? The rocket's uh. too strong from Rafa. Wow, this has just turned up to 11. It has an... Dramos is bringing the chaos at this point in time, and it is somewhat confusing the robotic playstyle of Rafa, who kind of feels disorientated. But at this point in time, Dramos is vulnerable. This is the first time in the game so far that Rafa has really consolidated his position with both major items. So Dramos needs yes. to be particularly careful. Sometimes the overly aggressive plays that are suboptimal just short circuit the chip in Rafa's brain, and it does not compute. As Dramas misses a rail opportunity, sees Rafa grabbing the Mega. That's a fantastic rail. And now he's going to be able to get out, hooks over to the bridge to set up position on this heavy. Does need to be careful, doesn't want to drop onto it. Wow, okay, the rocket's going to come to him. I was afraid that he was going to drop onto an LG or something, but that rocket enough to persuade him not to go for the heavy. But another great rail again from Dramas. Starting to dial those in, and just as I say that, I ruin everything. Yeah, and hitting the one is enough as it does stall the momentum and one himself a maker, which is great. Or not. I'm not sure if he fell down by accident or not, but luckily did hit the rail going up the jump pad. You can hit a rail here, that'll be absolutely spot on. Unfortunately, Oof. doesn't, but hits the second. Great little peak one. Just the tip of the skateboard right there as the defensive rockets come out from Rafa. No real big damage, but just enough to stop the pursuit. I think that was wise to stop the pursuit and go back. And so much damage misses with the rail, and that is unfortunate. The inject saving Rafa's life right there. Good rockets initially. Couldn't follow up with the rail. 7 to 4 now. 2.30 left on the board for Dramas. Good LG. Good dodging as well as Rafa can't land these rails. Good machine gun here, keeping the damage up with whatever he can into a rail, and that's going to cripple Dramas here. Shotgun from around the corner. Yeah, Rafa doing a good job of not overcommitting. Yeah, exactly. Not overcommitting. He knows that shotgun is absolutely brutal. Probably the, one of the best in the game with it. You kind of def definitely seen a big adjustment in the approach of Rafa. Um, those initial engagements of the past few minutes where Dramas was catching with guard in these close-range engagements has been Rafa's 
actively kept his distance now and has forfeited items because he does not want to take that risk. Yeah, the burst damage from the SSG, tremendous, especially on the lighter champs. Nobody wants to look like a two-pump champ as ESX, but here we go through the telly. The LG comes out, the hook for misdirection, the rocket won't land, but it will win him the mega. Down to the 50 shard he goes. Time is ticking. Three frags, 125 remaining. Pressure's on. Can Adramas do it? He's trying to find this cheeky rail angle. Machine gun instead. Rafa will miss with the rail. A little bit of chip damage. The tribal forcing him away. Oh, and the LG makes him float a little bit here. He had to work so hard for that rail. So much damage. Rafa railing his way to victory here as Adramas doesn't really have a response. Eight to four. This time is ticking. There's a free one. Rafa gives him one for free. Almost hits another one through the arches there. Those delicious golden arches. Good hook over. There's another one. Rafa will claim the Mega, and Drama's taking his time, hits another one, and Rafa just overstaying his welcome. A little bit of LG to try and buy him some space to get out. Dramas is the one who's railable now with a 25. He'll put him out of rail range in the cutoff for the Mega, but with a four frag lead, Rafa doesn't need any more items. It's just a matter of staying alive, staying alive. That's a great drive-by rail. The rocket retaliation from Rafa is a bit ridiculous here. Doing good damage, but as time ticking away, this one is done for. Yep, and the interesting and I guess worrying thing for the World of Quake, not, not worrying for the World of Quake, but <laughs> other players is that Rafa won, but that was actually quite a big victory for Dramis in the way in which he played. Like how close he kept that throughout. And if there was just a fine tuning on his rails in particular, he could have quite easily walked away with potentially the victory. I felt that he played remarkably, and we said it would be close and he'll play his heart out, which he did in in full um, and i really enjoyed the strategy but you could see mentally rafa shifted and changed his approach and ever since he played a bit more reserved <clears throat> it did feel that it was kind of a one-way street from there on out yeah i mean i could tell by you getting choked up slightly that it was a beautiful uh, attempt by dramas he did play his heart out and uh well it was a lot closer than people would have thought and i think if he dialed in those rails earlier on in the game i think it would have been a different story but it took him a while to kind of fix that game plan by that time Rafa was already kind of changing game plans because again Rafa is one of the best in the visit adapting mid game to different players different champions different strategies picking up on what his opponent is doing and being like okay I have to adjust based on what they're doing because they're not doing what I thought initially or they're not doing yep. what they started out doing exactly. things like that so just adaptability is huge and Rafa is one of the best at it exactly and we did see that coming out it was so close for so long and a few rails went another way, then he could have extended his lead a bit further. It might go out of reach for Rafa, but it didn't happen that way. And so that, that specifically, that rail right there missing, yeah. that could have been it. But yeah, I mean, again, a strong showing from Dramas. A lot of the times the scoreboard is misleading. That This game was a lot closer, and I think Dramas has yeah. a lot of reason to feel confident going into the next map. Uh, I think it was a good display, 9-4 to four again in favor of Rafa, but going into Ruins, Strog versus Sorlag, different kind of battle. Uh, he's got to chunk through a lot more stack, which might prove to be difficult, especially if it takes some time to dial in that rail game again. It's, it should be a little bit easier because Sword Base is a little thick, you know what I mean? But we'll see. Uh, every map is different, and again, Rafa is the king of being able to adapt his playstyle. So he might come out swinging, he might play overly aggressive, he might play super defensive. You never really know where you're going to get to Rafa, and he bases what he does off what you do. So it's always hard to kind of gauge what he's coming in with. Yeah, 100%. I do, I do, I do love his solo performance. So this would, for me, will be a bit harder for Dramas to get a bit of a foothold on. Um, so I'll be interested to see how he then resists that pressure if you will yeah the onslaught with the you know shotgun and being just the mobility of uh sorbet the shotgun to the face as well as the acid spit for not only denial but just up close damage the burst is nuts and strog although has the versatility and kind of the mobility to get away uh i think sorbet can track track him down pretty quickly so if it comes to, you know, a foot race, I, I don't think that uh, Dramas really has an edge at all. Maybe he's got some peaker plays 
uh, in his pocket because maybe that's maybe that's the key to all this CSX is just you need to slap Sorbet in the face with your peeker. I don't know. We'll see as we're going to load up map number two, Rafa versus Dramas on Ruins. Rafa already took the money from map number one, and he's just going to want to stack that cash. I know that boy. He likes money. Who doesn't like money? But we'll see. Dramas had a close, close one on map number one, and I'm hoping that we have another close game on map number two. Yeah, and if he finds his feet with his rail, there's no reason he won't push it. I just think the, uh, as you said, the way in which Rafa plays, if he gets control of both major items and suddenly has a big stack, the speed, the aggression, the way he wants to play, it's going to be a miserable map for Dramas. Yeah, it's already going to be a bad time when you're playing Rafa. If you let him dictate the pace of the game, it's going to be a really bad time. But this is it, live on map number two for the series between Dramas and Rafa. We got Sorbet and we got Strog to start off on Dramas and he's going to start off on the Mega. Super speedy here. He's got rockets and he wants a little bit of LG. Right off the bat there's some damage here. Both players just trying to get the items they want. There's the spit coming out and up close and personal. I don't know if this is what he wanted. The rockets are strong but are they strong enough? And somehow the trade comes out and Dramas wow with the god spawn. But the stack of the Sorlag meant that Rafa was able to sustain a lot of that pressure and came away with a trade, even though maybe he shouldn't have. And now oh. he's in prime position to take this Mega, even though he's eating a full rocket. Sorlag grinds on. Yeah, that rocket was uh, absolutely tasty. Dramas with good LG here. Really needs this frag badly. Almost gets it. Needs to be careful. There's a good drive-by rail. Has is Roth cornered? Can he find the damage he needs? Anything. There it is, the tickle. I was really hoping he would switch. He does get a little bit of that health as well, but again, right off the spawn, Rafa relentless. 3-2 to two now, as Rafa has the lead. Ability's up for both players. Mega is up for Dramas as he makes his way towards the Rockets. I think he may have heard Rafa's Sorbet. That's a great rail. Posting up in the middle and just taking these angles, hitting everything. There's the peeker from around the corner, dealt with nicely. 36 HP, Dramas has to get the hell out of dodge. Mega's not going to be up for 14 seconds, and Rafa's got to know. And now he's on the hunt. He is, and wow. he's worked himself. Nice double damage there, but easily back into this Mega area. Dramas is in position. It's looking dangerous for Dramas. And you can Not see the speed out coming out. Yeah, very, very speedy. Dramas needs to dial in these rails a little bit. He did hit that one. Almost hit another one, but now he needs to be careful taking the LG damage. Doesn't want to get caught in that spit. And Rafa, not so bad on the rails himself here. This forces Dramas back to the lower side of the map. Through the telly he goes, just trying to keep his distance. Stay the hell away from this dinosaur. There's a peeker play, but no damage dealt with by the rail. He's going to drop on the LG. No oh. LGB. That's not what he wanted. That was his chance to float. But Rafa had the stack to withstand that anyway. But I think and that rotation that of items is so difficult to stop as when you've got a sword like running at you because A, she's stacked, and B, she's got the air control. So it's actually really difficult to do enough damage to prevent that drop down. Yeah, and leaving him that healthy, especially after an engagement like that, is going to be, oh no. 11 HP, but there's the Mega. Good try, Bolt. Oh, and that's the oh, rocket he wanted. Wow. Two big ones from Dramas. Defensive rockets for the win here, and that's exactly what Dramas needed to stop that aggression and maybe have Rafa think twice in the future. 5-3. to three. As the Peeker comes out, Rafa hits a great rail. I think Rafa's okay with that because it was probably the right move and he forced Dramas to hit some incredible shots, which he did. But now he's back again with a vengeance and just managing that drop down safer this time. Tribolt spam trying to get some information here. There's a five to three rather early on, four minutes in. Plasma coming out. Here's the peeker. There's the acid spit. Whole boatload of fun from both players here as Rafa strafes his way onto the mega, eating so many rails, but dealing out some rails of his own as well, forcing Dramas back out to this courtyard to work with a shard, maybe some health bubbles. 
feels like this game is, has been a lot more one-sided than a 3-5 to five scoreline. So Dramas yeah, has done an amazing again. job so far to keep it as close as it is. Yeah, I was going to say, Dramas again. Impressive. Keeping it close. Very risky there, taking that rail. And he's going to take another one. Why? And the push in. And Dramas says, you don't kill me. I kill me. Yeah. Takes himself out 5-2. to two. And that is a rough spawn going straight for the rail. Rafa right there with the rockets. With claws wide open, a six to two, adding to the lead. And he's gonna catch him out in the courtyard, and this is gonna be brutal, potentially. Unfortunately, drops down. There's the beaker play. Could that be lucrative for Drama's oh, air nice. rocket to shut that down? Mate, I don't think he realized his rapper was as low as he was, so won't see anything super aggressive coming out from Jamis. But such a key feature of the way Rafa plays Sorag is keeping recognizing when and when and where he can put that pressure on. So as soon as he gets a frag that is clean, you notice an uptick in his speed and momentum. And he also understands that even if he's going to die, as long as he gets his opponent low, he can just run straight back at him and refrag him. Yeah, Drama's just missing out on that egg. Trying to make some damage happen here, positioning for the Mega. It's going to be dangerous. Does get some peaker damage. We've seen some brilliant rockets before. Almost connects with another full one. Misses with the rail. That's going to be a free entry for Rafa. Yeah. And the tickle, aggressive, electrifying, 8-2. to two. Rafa just stacking his body count right now against Dramas. It's not looking pretty now. We said it was pretty close before. It's uh, slipping away very quickly. What was a two-frag game is now a six-frag game. And it doesn't feel like Jamis has had a major item for a very long time. Yeah, two heavies, four megas to Rafa's ten heavies and eight megas. So he is dominating the shard game, but against a sword lag, you're going to need more than that. You need the major item. So this is unfortunate for Dramas on the back foot. Down six, less than four minutes. He's also being out damaged quite significantly as well. So Jamis needs to find an answer and soon, but this is the first time where Rafa's hit critical mass. So what can Jamis do to prevent the pressure when he's been struggling already? Yet another frag from Rafa. Yeah, I mean, you want to say uh, just try and hit more rails, right? But if you're not hitting your rails, then what do you do? Especially when Rafa gets up close and personal with LG and yeah. Spit. There's not much you can do. Does get him extremely low, but can he find him in time before Rafa restacks? And it looks like he can. He's in this weird place of deciding, do I want the Mega? Do I want to go for the Frag? Rafa gets a little bit of a stack going. And now that he has it secured, this should be it. Oh, There's one no. Rocket. There's two. Can he get it? And so much damage coming out from Rafa on the defense. That's so unfortunate. So unfortunate, but also so nice from Rafa. And yeah, it just feels that He's been on the run a lot of this game. He was hasn't been able to find a strong position to defend himself. If Rafa's going for Mega, try and manage this choke point where Rafa is now to stop him getting that heavy. But uh, Dramas has been taking up positions down below rather than in choke points. And Rafa's just been boosting himself through. That's good peaker play right there. That's a lot of damage. But if you look at the stack, you wouldn't even be able to tell. So Rafa is just... Absolutely stacked right now. There's one good rail. He's going to need a lot more than that. Misses with the second one. And again, Rafa has prime positioning for this Mega. And the rotate between items, relatively easy, as you said, because Sorbet, Sorbet can kind of just stack and force her way onto anything. There's the LG. Swaps to the shotgun. Rocket defensive, trying to make it work from Dramas. And Rafa gets in there and steals that heavy. Ouch, that stings. And yeah, this is obviously very much game over. And the way in which Dramas is playing, he was being very <clears throat> rail reliant, and he's only hitting 25% rail, so it's not ideal. Yeah, this is a bit brutal right here. You can kind of sum this game up as Professor Plum with the pipe on ruins, 12 to 2. As the peaker play comes out, gets good damage, but again, no frag. Both players extremely weak here as Dramas trying to make something happen and add to his score line just a bit. Rails missing from both players now. As now this is just kind of garbage time, just a mental reset going into the third map, figuring out, okay, well, how do I approach the next one? 
you got to ask yourself sometimes, you can only ban so many champions, like what What do you prioritize against Rafa? Like if he was a clutch player, you'd be pretty screwed half the time, right? Because you have to ban that instantly, and then you open up the pool for stuff like this. Yeah, I mean, just absolutely so versatile with his champion pool, and wow, up close and personal with the shotgun. There's, there's not much you can do against something like that, and that's why Rafa is so dangerous, and that's why he's, you know, the GOAT. Plasma coming out. Can he connect with anything? Rafa dancing all day, wagging that tail. Somehow gets alive, or gets out alive. And unfortunately for Dramis, this map went very much to script. For Rafa and for what we expected. So I thought it would be tough. Um, I thought it would be a pretty nasty map, and it, it was. So scratch this one. Think about map one and positive vibes and move into map three. Yeah. Yep, definitely just be like, okay, that happened, but it's done. On to Molten, and uh, I never want to think about that again. And by the way, I meant Awoken, not Molten. I don't ever want to think about that again. See, I'm so dist I'm so distraught at what just happened. I'm, I'm all discombobulated in ZSX. I don't know what to do anymore. That was brutal. It, it was, and that's just the story of Rafa and Sorlag on this map when you give him free reign. Like, he's obviously beatable, but you have to play perfect. Um, Stroker Pika is a decent pick against him. You've got speed, you've got the burst potential, you've got a decent stack, um, but Dramas wasn't able to find the recipe. I think that the play style he was looking to employ was right. Obviously, Rafa was never going to let him settle, but he didn't manage to choke points enough. You could see that these type of frags he got were great, but he was always forced to be hitting good shots to make it happen. Um, you need to manufacture easier opportunities than being put in that type of situation. That air rocket, 2 yeah. HP, so clutch. That's like the shot of Michael Jordan here. Just uh, pretty much uh, clinical, I guess, from Rafa, right? Look at that steal, that's just offensive. Just that There's quite a few times where he got Rafa low, but that Rafa doesn't mind, like, because he could then back off and stack back up and go again. You can see every single one of these times he's within a, a shot or a rail of dying. But it's and the Rafa shot. Point, yeah, and to your point earlier, okay, I die. I know I got you low, and I'm pretty pretty well off off the spawn, so yeah, let's say hello to starting shotgun. You know what I mean? Like, so The damage was only 500 difference, but the item difference was just insurmountable, really. Yeah. Just the domination of that heavy pickup was just too much for Dramas. Yeah, massive discrepancy there. 15 in favor of Rafa, plus 15, and then plus 7 for Megas. Again, dominating the shard game, but the shards won't get you what you need, especially against a Sorbet who could stack back up so thick and so juicy. As we take a look at the stats for that one for the GOAT. Moving into map number 3. Awoken, Ranger, Aizen. How do you mentally reset as Dramas? You're Dramas right now. How do you approach this game? Do you just start crying? Do you just go home? I mean, you're probably already home. So. You're probably already home. I hope you're home. Um, but as as we said at the start, like you have nothing to lose against Rafa. So that's you chalk it up to. That's what happens. And he's very good on that map. Very good with that champion. Unfortunately, it was, was Dramas' pick. So that doesn't feel that good. But Awoken is a different map, a different, different tempo, a different style. And you have a much more even playing field in terms of the picks and bands with the Ranger up against an Ice. So you reset, you start from scratch, and that's what you need to be doing at this level. If you can't do that, then you're never going to succeed, honestly, because everyone will have a bad map at some stage, and if you do, it gets you. You're never going to be able to win big uh, and win events. So I'm sure Dramas has, has it in him to let that one slide. I agree. <laughs> I see what you did there, because he likes crouch sliding champions. We did it. High five. Um, yeah, I mean, and the thing about Rafa, again, is the discrepancy playing Rafa, he could make, uh, you know, another pro look like an amateur player, but these are all pros. Like, Dramas is a good player. He's a strong NA player, but leave it to Rafa to just make him kind of look like they don't really know what they're doing out there, and it's just a testament to how good Rafa is. It's insane. But map number three, let's get into it. Let's see if Dramas has anything left in the tank to put up a fight against Rafa. Because again, money on the line. Let's go. Any cash is good cash. Yeah, and I think it's been a story of today, really, is that players haven't really been hitting their shots that much. Like, Dramas' rail is normally pretty consistent, and he just wasn't connecting. Gonna have to change that. And he's gonna start off pretty solid. He hits one right off the bat. Good defensive rocket from Rafa there from the mid area. 
And I think at this level, you have to be able to adapt on that as well. Like, yes, you want to hit your shots, but let's say you don't. You need to have a backup plan. You need to play positional. You need to be able to play kind of trap style and style. But if you just keep trying to force your you know, head against a brick wall and hit these rails and they're not showing up and the damage isn't there, you're going to you're gonna have a bad time. Yeah, 100% on that. And that's what we spoke about in Maxter earlier. It's just uh, the nature of it is if you're on the back foot, particularly if you have someone like a Sawlag running at you, if you're not doing the damage to manage the stack and mitigate that pressure, it becomes inevitable and you will crumble. So uh, there are times where just if you can't hit your shots, you're not going to win no matter how many backup play styles you have. Dramas tries to make a play on the heavy, and that could cost oh, no. him the dire orb. Timing is bad. The shotgun plus forward won't save him in just a second off. And that is brutal. Timing is everything. Yeah, that was a big mistake. And there's what would be a little small slip up. Rafa's in position to capitalize. That's not the start you want moving into a the third and final map as Dramas finds himself on the back foot, but with the Mega to hand. Rafa trying to suss out where Dramas could be with a little bit of tribolt. A decent rocket there as Dramas comes flying through the banana. The tribolt will miss, and Dramas is going to take the fight to Rafa, maybe. Repositions to the middle of the map. Not a bad idea here as Mega's up in five, and that's enough to make Rafa rethink his attack on the Mega, if any. And Rafa is one of the only players in the world that uses Tribal as effectively as he does, and he loves it on Awoken. So many areas where you can just stand behind a corner, stand at a choke point, and the Tribal will suss you out. So it is something I, I am surprised we don't see more often from players outside of Rafa. Yeah, it's definitely a gun that, at the very least, information. It doesn't have to be damaged, and sometimes when you shoot like that, it'll get both here. As nice a volley of tribolt from Rafa there, as Dramas just got caught up the jump pad. Good rail. Good follow-up as well. So not only did he get the rail before, but he got it after. And now the turret's down. Dramas has to fight that first. That's going to give another opening for Rafa, as he almost hits that fragging rail right nice. there. Nice. This is it. In the LG, and that'll do it. Another yeah, frag. Really on the board. nice by Rafa. Plenty of time to set up before the Mega as well. Should make it an easy item rotation. Also, steals away the light. That's painful for Dramas. Nothing to fall back on. LG on LG. All things equal. Ooh, and I think he just wanted to steal Ouch, that. Yeah. Again, the timing just a bit off for Dramas. Unfortunate. He's taking good positions, but as you say, the time is a little bit off, and I rest Rafa's execution is on point. He's not going to get that. Oh, what? Wow. Okay. So Rafa has some aim. That's a beautiful jump across shot there to take down Dramas and win himself the Mega. Is he going to be able to get in on the heavy? Dramas, he's been 0 for 2 so far. He can't quite get it. There it is, but is it worth it? He rocket jumps out, makes some space, but then he goes right back in. Rocket jumps up to the rail. A little bit of LG tickle. And that'll be where that ends, as almost Rafa with another drive-by rail. Oh no, that's a big rocket there. Drops down, good defensive rail here, and Rafa will get a 25 to keep him out of rail range. Nice. Even with 10 HP, has no enough fight in him. Way. Oh my god, he's putting How? out so much damage with just 10 HP. Yeah, I mean, that was probably not the best parving choice from Dramas to go that route when you know how low Rafa is, but the damage output from Rafa, insane. Oh, and the last minute switch to Rockets will net him yet another one and the Mega. Again, the timing has been the curse for Dramas on this map. Just a little too early, one or two seconds. All of them leading to frags. There's so much LG coming out from Rafa. So now he's waiting patiently. Another great rail from down below and hits another one to convert six to zero. 
And this is as cold and as calculated as we've seen Rafa in this series so far. Not letting anything slide, anything slip. And ever since the opening engagements, it doesn't feel like Dramas has really had a look. Yeah, it feels like he may not even be on the map. Yeah. A little LG. Timmy the turret just for a little insurance here as he goes through. There's a good rocket. Good follow up as well, but Dramas is still worse for wear as Rafa has the shotgun out waiting for this close engagement. Close the turret around Banana. Is that enough of an angle to spot him? I don't think so. Dramas getting pushed in with two rails. Banana health won't save you there. Seven to zero. This is just a matter of body count for Rafa now. It really is. It's clinical. The question that we're all trying to ask ourselves is how do you oh, no. stall this momentum when he gets into this kind of groove? I don't know if you can. There's the Dire or barely escapes. Oh, Timmy. Timmy popping off, just waiting, and there's the flick rail again. And there's just, there's nothing. Nothing is working. There's nothing you could do against Rafa right now. He's kind of in this flow state where just everything makes sense. He just see no he just sees numbers. He doesn't even see a map. He's Neo. <laughs> so much tribal almost follows up with the rail too, and this is just the Rafa show. And Dramas is just giving him these, trying to peek through the drive-through window. There's a little bit okay. of a Big Mac served up. Just missing out on those butt cheeks there with that rail, but Dramas is still 75 HP, not looking so hot. Misses with a rail of his own, needs to be careful where he paths. Timmy the turret is up. Oh my goodness. Oh, sweet mother of God. And That's just so much damage. I mean, it's partly because of the way Raph is playing, but... I almost forgot that there was a Ranger on this map. I think that's the first orb I've seen since the mistake in the opening minute. It just there's been no openings for Dramas to play his champion. Yeah. The one mistimed orb, a second off, and it's it feels like a downward spiral. Oh my. Let the poor guy play the game. Yeah, this is a case of, I think as ketchup would say of just I'm not gonna let you play the video game. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> You're just not gonna be able to play it. Waste of money, my friend. Oh man, this is, I, but this is Rafa, this, this is Rafa, so the turret in position uh, gets <laughs> oh his attention God. and then Rafa peeks back out. Oh, this is a 2v1 boy. right now. God, it really is. Poor Drabbers doesn't know which way to look. There's damage coming from everyone. How quick Rafa is, there's often is damage coming from two sides at once. It's tri bolt one way, rails the other way. You go for an item, it's taken away before you know what's come flying by. It's like a cartoon. It deploys the turret at the last second. Yeah, I guess in this scenario, Rafa would be Bugs Bunny and Dramas would be Wile E. Coyote, huh? Yeah, it's, it's, it's more like Rafa's Roadrunner. You just you don't know where he's coming from. Still can't get a frag. Throwing the everything at Rafa right now. I mean, the way Rafa's playing, you think you'd get paid per frag. And that might, maybe that's what he wants. Maybe that's what he's lobbying for in the <laughs> league. I don't know. But this is, and the thing that you oh. pointed out at the start is, for me, as great as he is across the board, his mentality is what is really impressive. To, it's very easy. You know you've won the game. You know you've probably run the series, but he just never, ever relents, no matter what. Every situation for him is a learning like, situation. Right now, the scoreboard says 15-0, but he's playing like he's two frags down. So what like would I do in this situation? Exactly. Kind of it's 15-0, and he's playing as his 0-0. His zero, zero. That's just yeah. remarkable. If it was me, I'd be running around doing 360 rails, you know, and just kind of bubble. Out. Exactly. Yeah. But Coding in a taunt. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's almost like he's on frag commission, as you say. Yep. Paid per frag. Maybe. We might, we might see that. Let's see. But 15-0, maybe another one on the way out. I'm not sure, 10 seconds. But again, he plays until it hits double zero. So Rafa, relentless, foot on the throat. Dramas giving him one, and yes, nope, he will. 16-0, nope. thank you very much. That's an extra 100 in my pocket. And uh, yeah, that was, that was Rafa. Yes, that, that was, was Rafa. rough.
That was, that was roof, even. <laughs> uh, roof. Uh, yeah. Three, three, zero. I don't know. I think the first map was probably the closest. I think the and, first uh, map pissed him off, and then he was. <laughs> yeah, he was like, yeah. Who, do th "Who do you think you are?" Really, Javis? You, you think you? Oh man, that was um, a, a sibber hold when he's in that type of mood. And the first map, all shoutouts to Dramis. He played, and this is the scary thing: he played spectacular, and he lost ten four or nine four or something along those lines. And then it was a really downhill spiral from there on out. I think he got two frags early on in map two, and then they were the last frags he got all series. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, six frags across three maps. That's brutal to Rafa's damn near 40. I think he put up 39. So, yeah, I think that boy wants to get paid per frag for sure. But a clinic set by Rafa, again, whenever you play Rafa, it's an uphill battle. And that's kind of the result that we all thought, right? It's, it's Rafa in flow state. He's making good decisions. He's hitting everything, and it's just lights out. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've had some good predictions today, but that was probably the easiest of them to make. It's just what you expect. Another day at the office in NA Quake for Rafa. Yeah, absolutely brutal. Again, uh, the story of the series, Professor Plum with the pipe in Quake. Champions 16-0 to zero for that final one. And yeah, I, the damage nuts in comparison. Casual 1.4k extra. That's more Absolutely. level that we saw on map one of Spotty versus Kilson combined. <laughs> just, br <laughs> just absolutely brutal. Yeah. I mean, again, the the takeaway for me is the mentality Rafa has that we saw in the last 30 seconds. The man is up 14, 15, 0. Does not care. Every and second is a champion game. I can learn from everything. I can learn how to trap. Let's say there's 10 seconds left. I'm down by one. He's going through those scenarios in his head. He's playing to perfection every time. And that's why he gets to this level of being able to perform like this consistently because there is no downtime. Every time he's in the game, it's practice. And you saw that, it's very really simplistic, but you saw that graph of frags and deaths at the end there, the frags just going up and up and up while the, the deaths went down and down and down to zero. It was just Rafa just finding his groove, working out his opponent. And he's the first person to tell you that he does that. He. He analyzes, he studies you, and you saw throughout the series the shift in play style from Rafa, the shift in momentum to the point where Dramis didn't even play the game for the last map. Yeah. Unfortunate, unfortunate. But, I mean, the story was told. We kind of expected it. But we got two more series left for the day, and we're going to be joined by the one and only DJ Wheat. But first, you have to wait five to six minutes. So grab some snacks, grab some coffee, maybe some energy drinks. Whatever you need to do, we will be back. More Quake Pro League action right after this.